it takes a long and rough ride to reach the native area of Niger's Arab minority. Their villages are remote and mostly depopulated due to decades of drought. Only a few, like Bazangor, hundreds of kilometers to the northeast of the capital Niamey, continue to struggle for survival. And struggle to keep the culture alive too. We are teaching Quran to our children to preserve our religion, Islam, and our Arabic language too. Without these schools, we would not have been able to preserve them. Arabs migrated to this area from North Africa in the 16th century. They brought with them their camels and their trans-Saharan trading skills. When they arrived here, the area was ruled by the Tuareg. The Arabs who excelled in trade formed an alliance with them. Even before the arrival of the French colonization, they were trading in camels within the neighboring countries, Libya and Algeria. They even traded in clothes, which was prohibited by the French. But even though they are small in number and have recently been driven from countryside to city by natural hardships, they soon began to readapt. Not only that, but to excel in various new roles. They are now responsible for more than 60% of Niger's industries and 90% of its transport. Most bus lines linking Niger to West Africa are owned by them. They have shares in local airline companies and own several factories. Their Tuareg allies and neighbors in the north recognize the contribution made to the development of Niger. No doubt, Arabs are a minority. However, their presence is strongly felt, namely in business. All credit goes to the Arabs who started modern transportation companies connecting with all cities and villages. These companies also provide job opportunities. Arabs of Niger explored various types of business as they are skillful in trade. Despite its ethnic diversity, Niger seems to have successfully managed its racial problems. An intermittent Tuareg rebellion that broke out in the north in 1990 ended in a solid peace agreement in 2009. Now, both Tuareg and Arabs enjoy a sizable representation in the government and parliament. Too many in this troubled region. It proves inter-ethnic peace benefits nations. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera.